Hello there, welcome back to Inktober where we are mixing things up a little bit. Uh, we've done day one backpack, day two discover and day three we are about to draw and then paint our boots. So we are making a really cool uh, compilation of images and we are doing it in under 10 minutes yesterday, under 10 minutes. Uh, today we'll see how we go. All right, so for boot, you're more than welcome to trace these. Um, if you're on my email list, um, I've sent you out the image. But if you're drawing along with me, let me break down the basic shapes for you. We have what I like to call a backwards L. <laughs> so from the back of the boot, we go down, we kick out a little bit as we go over. So it's kind of like a backwards L. Then we go around. And then all we do is we take it back up the top. There we are, like a little booty. <laughs> Probably where it gets its name from. Uh, we're going to take a circle around the back of the boot a little bit. And we're going to take that same circle down and follow it until we get halfway down. Then we're going to take a little line up like this, but we'll put a lot of those details in after we've finished um, painting it. At the bottom of the boot, we're going to give it a little frame, which is the sole. And then it's going to have a little heel, some tread and another bit of tread. And these are just like, you know, when you're at school, if you ever did castles and they had like the in and out bits that go around, we're doing it like that. But we're not going to worry too much about the, the, the kind of bows and all that kind of stuff because uh, we can put that in without ink. All right, what color do you want your boot? Well, you never want to be lost in the wilderness and um, be on a discovery tour <laughs> or a hike and not be fashionable, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go with a bit of red. <laughs> I'm not trying to stay in between the lines. I'm not going to go over the shoelace area. Inside my boot, I'm going to grab a bit of Payne's Grey. I'm going to leave a little bit of a white, a little white rim there. And for my sole, uh, for the tread, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. To be fair, I probably could have used a smaller paintbrush. <laughs> but there he is. There's my boot. It's awesome. Let me go ahead and um, put the hairdryer on and dry it so that we can ink it up. See that? World's quickest boot. I think I'm really getting the hang of this kind of um, quick painting. I'm changing my pen today. I'm going for a thinner one. Uh, this is actually a 0 0.05, so it's quite thin, um, but I'm going to still ink it and outline it. Um, I'm gonna make this bit a little bit fluffy as though it was lined. I'll still use this one for the, for the outside. 
but for the shoelaces I want to use something a bit thinner so a bit of a circle and then some laces I'm just going to do the lines where the um, where the laces are tied but I'm going to do it as a double line so a little parallel line here and then you know those kind of hooks they hook onto that just look like little sideways the letter C I've got those there I'm going to take that one around maybe Color that in a little bit and then for my tread I'm going to take the first line down with my pen and here are my castles just to kind of show that tread there nothing too fancy but boy am I proud of that and that is the main thing so the thing we were concerned about for this one Just check our time. The thing we were concerned about for this one was the back of our um, backpack because our boot is in front of it. So what we can actually do while we've still got time on our 10 minutes today is um, we can fill in the rest of our, um, our backpack. Let me just find my reference image. Mine didn't even end up touching my boot, but yours might have. Okay. Little bit of Payne's Grey from the other day. Hopefully this is also helping you a little bit fighting your feelings of perfectionism. <laughs> going to put another little bit here as though it's the tag because it looked a little bit weird without it. I'll let that dry and then I'll go over it in my marker tomorrow when we go ahead with the fourth prompt which is the word exotic.